Hi Gemini's, I hope you are doing well. Let's see what is coming up for you. Please know I'm still hosting a sale, guys. A uh, link is in the description box. You can go to realtarot.com if you like a more personal reading on your situation, Gemini's. Okay, so all of our energy is the five of swords. I'm just seeing some type of frustration here. Uh, could be work-related or love-related. Take it how it resonates. Nonetheless, you're just over it and just want to walk away from a situation and start a new beginning. Again, um, I'm seeing this could be love or employment. You're seeking a new job. The stress and the burdens is too heavy. You know, it's... Um, a very toxic workplace for some of you and you just want out you know you're hesitating for a new start you're scared to take the leap of faith but spirit is saying go for it because right now you're delaying your own new start okay so take moves here lean on your inner circle during this time you don't have to do this alone and most importantly gemini's have patience okay everything will unfold and divine timing here so pretty clear cut uh, we have forgiveness over here. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. Someone wants your forgiveness. This, this is regards to a love situation. They're hesitant to come forward and kind of start this new beginning. There's a lot of passion and chemistry that you guys have that is kind of hard for them to tone it down, right? So this is kind of delaying that process as well. But Gemini, you have to make a decision here. Do you want to, you know, continue to stay the same or make a change, especially in regards to your um, finances, you know, your career? You have to be happy. We spend most of our uh, majority at work. Um, I mean, majority of our lives at work. So Spirit wants you to make a decision here. You know, um, we still are in full moon and Gemini energy. So it's it's releasing things that are burning, a, a burning for all of us here. Right. And Spirit wants you to work on that. Focus on the next chapter of your life here. We have the Seven of Swords, the Empress, and the Queen of Cups showing up. So again, hidden feelings, you know, this person realizes that they should have done more for you. Again, embrace this new start of uh, Gemini's. Don't let your emotions hold you back, okay? Because your Queen of Cups is in reverse. You have to follow your intuition. But yeah, there's a delay for manifesting because you're stuck in your head here, okay? Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Wands. Spirit really wants you to move right now, all right? from the Geminis. I like you. Okay, yeah. Someone, again, still has feelings for you. They still like you, but they see you moving on happily single, and it's like, damn, like, you really didn't deserve that, Gemini. So that's why this two of cups is showing up, you know. But thinking about how you guys broke up, how you guys weren't connecting emotionally here because your queen and the king of cups is in reverse, you know. You guys weren't on the same page, and they're realizing how much it was their fault. So in the meantime, they're just going to be watching you with the page of swords until it's ready to kind of take charge here, okay. You see me scrambling with this. But um, they're looking at the past and they're dissecting it right now, you know, learning these lessons here. But the Ten of Pentacles showing up in this work situation, you know, I feel like there's petty childish uh, uh, energy in your workplace. Your boss could be very immature. You know, you you got to get out of here. Now is your time because it's like 10, 10, angel number, 10 of cups in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles. You're, you're, you're going to lose your mind here. And if you keep holding on to this, it's going to delay this manifestation that is trying to come in, Gemini's. Okay? You can see the Ten and the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. But once you let go, look at what's going to turn around. Look at this new start. Look at this two of lines. You're going to start choosing your path and you're going to walk away from things that are no longer serving you. Serving you. You have money and love trying to come in, but you have to believe it will. Until then, Gemini's, these cards are going to be in reverse. So you can see how you're literally stopping yourself, Gemini's. So work on your healing here. You know, know that you deserve more. I know past trauma can get the best of us, and it's a trigger. And then we go back to our old ways, our old self sabotage thoughts. But you got to make the choice for you. Again, there's an earth sign, Libra energy here, a strong Libra, that Aquarius energy as well, that wants to work on this. You know, they want to get out this conflict, but it's going to take a little bit more time for them because, you know, their emotions are all over the place. They need to, it's kind of like you guys are lopsided. You know, your feminine energy is great. Their masculine, their, their feminine energy is like totally effed up right now. So they're trying to take action on this. Again, you choose your path in life. Gemini's with the King of Wands and the Ace of Wands. You control your path. So embrace more of your King of Wands energy, Gemini's, okay? This is a major, major karmic cycle that is closing out for you and it's closing out for the better. Clarify this Two of Wands. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. 
uh, there's some structure that you need in regards to your past and the lessons that you learned so you don't bring that into your future, okay? I, I know you're exhausted right now. You know, but Spirit is just saying just take one step or just rest for a little while, okay? Again, there's someone, the Earth sign energy that wants to say sorry here. They've been dragging their feet for so long. But it's like, yeah, you're going to free yourself from this. Time to take back control of your life. Get out your head here and trust for the situation to have faith. Again, financial issues are a factor. But you're going to get through this, Joe Nice. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you need to let go of this. Trust your intuition and know that you can have all that you desire here. But until you don't believe in this, you're going to keep being in this stagnant energy here. So you have to believe, you know, again, use this formal energy to clear out a lot. So these cards can come up right and you can get your money and your love, Gemini's. All right. Anything else that Gemini's wants to know or need to know? Ooh, that's a lot of cards. Yeah. We have spiritual lesson. It's persons in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. New love or recommitment to love is developing. You have to ask yourself, does this situation align with your values and morals? And know that everything happens for a reason, Gemini's, okay? Stay patient, okay? I'm going to leave it there. Have a wonderful week.